How's it going guys and welcome to the Minion channel. Today we have an interesting episode because we have some massive, massive news but also very different and somehow a little bit exciting and worrisome. So it looks like we have uh, just announced a brand new game, a game that is actually kind of concerning in some ways but also really interesting because it's been announced a new project which actually comes from Persona, particularly Persona 5, uh, which also brings uh, the question as far as what this actually is and a lot of the origins pertaining to it, this itself. So the um, brand new project that I'm talking about is regarding um, Persona 5 particularly as a online game. Now this is an interesting game again as I mentioned earlier because this this game is made um, by a different company, by a Chinese company and a lot of people uh, at first when this was announced, it, a lot of people I guess imagine this to be some sort of uh, not really a crossover more like a rip -off of Persona 5 um, and as they uh, relied on many information regarding this project by the way this is called um, I'm sorry, Code X name, which obviously this is just a uh, filler title. I don't think it's gonna be the final title. But as as more uh, more people dug into the uh, trailer and the actual information regarding the, the game, looks like this game is actually using a. Um, the only uh, assets from Persona 5, but it's actually a, a contract between Atlas and this company, Perfect World, and they're actually working on this project together to make this mobile Persona style game. Now, in their website, they actually pr uh, refer to Persona quite a few times as they say they're creating an original mobile game adaptation of a famous Japanese console or JRPGs that sold over 10 million units. Uh, they also, in the websites, obviously, again, they label Persona 5 and some stuff. In fact, there's a Easter egg when it comes to the tire, uh, the trailer where it shows uh, the binary numbers, which uh, actually translates to Persona X again with the title preferring to Code X name. And the art file that we've seen so far actually looks a lot like Sujima's art. Obviously, it is and it's some other artist because it does have some sim similarities and some differences, but it does look like they're putting a lot of work into making these Persona style. A mobile game. Well, what this actually means or what it is, we actually don't know. We don't have any information as part of what particularly this project is going to be, uh, but based on uh, uh, reference from previous games, mobile games particularly from Atlas, we can probably assume this is going to be some kind of gacha game or some sort of style game. The trailer actually does show quite a bit when it comes to the Persona aspect of it. Uh, for example, the uh, trailer shows like a Shibuya uh, Japan area. And at first, again, a lot of people are like, oh my god, not another Persona a fire ripoff. On the other hand, some people were like, oh, this is definitely not a personal ripoff. And again, this is not a ripoff per se because it is being made um, with the intention of looking like Persona 5 with assets from Persona 5 uh, authorized by Atlas. This is not like a ripoff. This is not like they're taking and reaping things from the Atlas. More like Atlas is working with them on this project in a, in a specific level. Uh, now, this is interesting and what it means, I don't really know and I I'm sure uh, uh, a lot of you guys are interested to see what this could put, uh, be as a potential thing. Uh, it, it has a lot of potential to be either really good or a, or a fucking fiasco. It could be one of the two, right? It could be in one aspect something that, that could um, be one beneficial for Atlas and for new players, maybe some people that haven't heard of the Persona series or Shin Megami Tensei and because of this brand new game it does bring new players into the mix or at the same time it could just be again another cash grab and a uh, gacha style game you know a game just made uh, to get money from people and everything so it can be taken in, in consideration in a lot of different ways and aspects I'm just curious to see what this is gonna bring into a table I'm curious to see what kind of gameplay is gonna be uh, what kind of style it is it could, uh, you know what I'm not particularly in the camp of I hate mobile games I really don't I just don't really play a lot of them but this does have the potential to be something interesting in a lot of aspects even unique and it can bring a lot of money again to both Atlas and uh, the Chinese developer Perfect World because again this is this is made in that as for now this is early in development and it's only being confirmed for China but again 
with the magnitude of persona and how famous it's become over time, I don't necessarily uh, Im I imagine that this project is gonna be coming out outside of China at some point. Now, this could be nothing again. This could be just one of those one mil one in a million, you know, there's millions and millions of apps and mobile games and everything. Again, this could be nothing, but again, I do feel like I have to talk about it because it does look interesting and it does have uh, a lot of personal aspects, which again, I'm I'm interested on. In. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this guys i'll leave a link with the twitter uh when everything was discussed and again because some people keep asking for sources and everything like that and again my sources directly from the guy that i talked about originally who is a journalist and everything so anyway thank you so much for watching this guys if you're new please consider liking and subscribing let me know in the comments below how do you feel about mobile games how do you feel about a persona style mobile game um i don't know again i don't we don't know if this is a gacha game or not we don't know what it is really okay so before you freak out just being in the know we don't have any idea what this could potentially be. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.